Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Bravely Second End Lair. Let's continue through the house Jenny Old Decrypt and find more of these crystals to, yeah, light those ones up. Let's see, also, let's see, last time, uh, yeah, I didn't switch that back. Let's get that going there. And also, last time, we got a new summon, and we should have another entry in Mephelia's memos. For Susana O, oh, the summon she couldn't get in the first game. Yeah, there we go. So, yeah, just I guess a little more background info on that. You would get uh, Mutsu no Kami from, the, from Mr. Owl there. If you didn't have the summoner asterisk at this point. But it's only slightly more powerful than what we have now. So, don't worry about it. We'll be able to get more later. But for now, got a little more cake there. I guess uh, Kaiser Oblivion has a sweet tooth. And if you notice to the left of here, yeah, there's another switch there. But we gotta find another way around there. And we're gonna have to backtrack a little bit anyway. So we might as well do it now. I, I passed it up earlier there at the four-way intersection. Maybe I should have done that one first, but that's okay. I'm going to warp back to the start eventually anyway, once I'm done with this section. And we could also hit up the tent event on the way there as well. I could use the MP refill, that's for sure. But, uh, okay, so we got that. Uh, if I can get a little closer, there you go. Just one more. All four of the crystal switches, though, are on this screen, but you can only access them, or some of them can only be accessed by going to another area and then looping back around. But now, yeah, we might as well just get out of there and take the short way to get back to where we were before in the middle of the area. All right, we made it. Let's see, how are we looking at this point? Oh, yeah, we could really use the the rest or the break here. We still got a lot of 10th events left in the game, too. The spirits are crying, just like back then. Well, what do you mean? I was about to say, where's the usual happy music whenever we're in the tent? Spirits? Uh, sorry, I just meant that sound. Yeah, ghosts aren't real. It's just the wind, right? Don't scare me like that. <laughs> yes, it was just the wind blowing between the gravestones. What gravestones? But when I was a child, it sounded like wailing spirits. Aren't you still a child? You've been here before you? Well, yeah, it belongs to him. Yes. To bury my father, and as heir to House Genealgia, to pay respect to my ancestors. Oh, okay. I don't remember it very well. Or maybe I just tried hard to forget. Oh. Well, I mean, you are scared of ghosts. The more I think about it, the more I realize how hard I've tried to forget my childhood. Why? Eating at a dinner table so big, I could hardly see my parents' faces. The grim silence, broken only by the clinking of cutlery. Oh, I, I thought you were talking about Adia there for a moment. Everyone seemed so distant. Father, mother, my brother, and his mother. Why? It was as if some massive gulf divided my brother and me, even though neither of us wanted it to be that way. Huh. Whenever I did talk to my brother, he was always so kind to me. Not anymore! I always thought to myself, when brother inherits House Genialja, I'll be his right-hand man. But it wasn't to be. Ha <laughs> ha! Well, now he doesn't have a right hand, does he? <sighs> it wasn't until I went off to study in El Campus that I finally had some room to breathe. What do you mean? Jan and I would go down to the food stalls each evening. Everything was so delicious. But eventually, father passed, 
and I returned home to that silent, gloomy dining room. Was that like after you graduated or something? But couldn't you change things? Yeah, why not? Right. You're the head of the household now. You can eat however you like. I'm afraid it's not so simple. Well, you just gotta change the the menus, I guess. House Genealgia has rules for everything. All laid down by the first of our name. But you can change those rules. The portrait in the lobby of your manor. That's him, isn't it? Th there was a portrait? I remember that painting. It scared the heck out of me when I got up in the middle of the night. Oh. Why? Me too, sir. I think it's the reason why ghosts are my biggest, uh, well, only fear. <laughs> Dinner's ready, everyone. Come and get it. Hey. Oh, I forgot it was your turn. What do you mean? Don't look so happy about it. Besides, I whipped up something special tonight. Ha <laughs> ha. This is how I always wanted my meals to be. Food, laughter, camaraderie. Well, you got the crystal guard for that. Something special, you say? Special in what way? Ta-da! The Ducal Guard Special. Salmon braised with vinegar, mayo, butter, garlic, pepper, and barbecue sauce! That's a lot of sauce. A la vache! What a feast! Yes, this is what I always wanted. Food! It is? Uh, Idia, don't you think butter and garlic alone would have been enough? Well, you gotta have all that sodium in there. What? What was the problem? It was like a flavor explosion. The Ducal Guard really eats this? This exact recipe? Why not? Ah, oh, so magnifique. It's perfect. Mm, kind of eerie with no music going on here. It's like sometimes I'll go outside and it'll be unnaturally quiet. Kind of creeps me out. Not often that happens, but every now and then. But, uh, okay, so we got that. Let's see. Okay, so we have procured a lot of heart rings so why don't we sell them before i max out my inventory there also let's see we probably yeah we got quite a few remedies there i'm not gonna sell all of them but i'll sell a lot of them because i don't really use them that much and i'm getting close to maxing out my supply anyway okay how else are we doing okay yeah that ought to be good well, we might as well get rid of a little more of these. And, yeah, I don't think I'd ever use potions again. Let's see. Let's just get rid of that many. Okay, that ought to be good. Yeah, that ought to be good. Okay, and then what else? Okay, so we got the heart rings. How many we got? Oh, yeah. I'd probably max out my supply if I didn't sell them before going through the last part of the dungeon. Yeah, look at that money. And I'm never going to use them, so we might as well sell everything. Okay, so we got all that. Did I remember to remove holy magic from you? Okay, good, good. We got that going. Let's see, I think there's only one more. Well, there's a couple more treasures on this screen, but one more that we can get right now. So let's take a look. Don't be afraid to cut off a long chain of battles if you're at negative B, or yeah, negative BP, even with the, the safety ring to help protect us from death spiral. And I'm going to be putting that to use, or great use, coming up here in a bit. For now, let's take a look around the southern end of the crypts. Okay, so do I need to, yeah, there we go. And you know, this part can be a little tricky to see where you can, where you actually can walk or not, without looking at the 
map, actually. Lots of stuff blocking the paths, well, really throughout the whole dungeon. Alright, and over in the lower right corner of the area, we have a very important piece of equipment. The Dark Shield! It, if I recall correctly, it makes you immune to all dark elemental damage. Yeah, yeah. And that's going to be very useful coming up in a bit. Not here, but in the near future. But, uh, okay, so, look, oh wait, did I, hold on. Okay, good, good. Got that going there. What else do we got? Haha. -ha. Hey, an elixir that I'll never use. You could sell it if you really wanted. What do I have in the... Oh, right, right, the shield. I was like, what do I have that I didn't look up yet? I've already filled up the bestiary entries for this area. So we don't need to worry about them anymore. But here we get the Excalibur. It's a great sword that is holy elemental. Or at least deals holy el or light elemental damage. So that's pretty nice. I definitely want to hold on to that for later. But for now, let's keep taking a look around. Let's see one more treasure here. Okay, just one more to go. And I think that's all the treasure in the dungeon. Magic armlets? I I have no idea what that does, actually. <laughs> I mean, something to do with uh, magic defense, I guess. Oh, or mind. Well, that does generate magic defense there, so... Well, there you are, but I, I don't think I ever use those. So, don't worry about it. I just wanted it for the collection. Okay, so let's see. Up here, we've got the fourth and final crystal switch there. Let's see, to get back, let's see, I think I'll just warp back. I could probably walk back and it would be about the same amount of time. But there's more uh, heart rings to, for us to steal. In any case, let's make our way back up to, well, where the four other crystal switches were that got lit up and get to the end of this place. Wonder how Kaiser Oblivion is getting through this place anyway. I mean, if the switches weren't already on. I don't know. Wow, I didn't even need to go out of my way to get that last battle right here. But uh, as you can see, the door is open. Let's get set up for what lies beyond. Okay, so for the setup here, yeah, why don't we save this for my no earth setup. So no, like, rock storm or anything like that. So I can... Yeah, I have Adia use shamanism instead. Okay, so we get that. And then... Yeah, let's get to the boss setup. Yeah, we'll just go with this. We do need to steal coming up here. So we might as well leave Tiz on Thief. Let's see. Okay, so with you, I think I pretty much just leave him alone. With Idea, now I do want to use Cat Manty, but not for Rock Storm. I want to use it for Death Spiral. That's going to be your ultimate source of damage in the game. If only there were a way to increase the damage that Death Spiral could deal, but we don't have one. Yet. But, uh, okay, so let's see. For her setup, yeah, we'll just leave that alone. With Magnolia... I think we can safely leave this one alone, too. And for Tiz, yeah, we can leave that alone. Okay, so for the equipment there, let's see, we're all good to go there. Oh, yeah, that's right. We got that Demon's Rod, even though we're not going to be using Dark Elemental Damage. But it's good for just the, just the magic attack that it helps her out with a little bit. Let's see, yeah, we'll leave her on gauntlets. I don't want her... Well, actually, now it doesn't really matter whether she acts earlier or later. I gotta sell some of those heart rings. Good thing I uh, sold them earlier. I would have hit the cap there. But, uh, let's see. I guess I could give her the Hermes sandals. 
And then for Tiz, we're still going to be stealing, so let's keep the... We also want to keep the bloody shield around. We're not nearly done with that yet. Okay, so we get all this. And yeah, we definitely want the thief knife. I think we're good to go. Why don't we uh, save this one, though? As my new setup with the weapons we got for Magnolia. I also need to, yeah, rest up here. Let's see, in the cottage. There we go. Okay, so we got all that ready to go. Anything? No, there's nothing in the bestie theory there. I think we're good to go. So what is this pit area we're going to anyway? Uh-oh. Starting to get a little symmetrical here. At last, Kaiser Oblivion. He's scary. I want to get out of here. Screw that guy. Oh, oh, okay. Well, then, where do these stairs go? Hmm. Well, for now, let's fill out the map there. I'm not touching you. I'm not touching you. No, no. Uh, yeah, we can uh, talk a little bit first, I guess. Brother. What are you even doing here, anyway? You. I've been waiting for you. Well, you could have just, you know, flew over to us. Tell me, little brother. Do you know who slumbers here? Dead people. The first lord of our house. Oh, or him. Founder Jenny Olja. Well, someone had to start the house. Descended from the family of the first pontiff. He held many key posts from a young age. Captain of the Crystal Guard, inaugural leader of the Three Cavaliers. He laid the foundation for the future might of House Geniolja. Oh, they always had three? I thought it was just like you and your friends and they just arbitrarily said three. Founder Geniolja, our esteemed forefather, and the man responsible for the corruption and rot that infests the Orthodoxy to this day. But most of the Orthodoxy is dead. From the first game. Riddle me this, little brother. What is the Crystal Guard? We guard the crystals. I'm... Okay. An order of knights sworn to serve justice, to defend the orthodoxy and protect the people from harm. Justice, yes. Founder held up the torch of justice and slew countless foes for the sake of the people and the faith. This is all well and good, but what does this have to do with anything? He's dead. But who defined the justice that he trumpeted? Why, he did, of course. Well, someone's got to do it. As he rose higher and higher through the ranks, he used his influence to brand personal rivals as enemies. What? Political rivals who threatened his influence. Wealthy houses with treasures he coveted. Vassals who did not pay the tributes demanded of them. Commoners who dared speak the truth. Anyone and everyone could be named an enemy of the Crystal Orthodoxy and sentenced to imprisonment, exile, even death. Well, that's not surprising given what I've heard about them. So that's how our family rose to such wealth and power. Stealing it from others. We inherited the spoils of this treachery. The blood is on our hands too. Well, that all happened before you were born. There were fair and just men among our forefathers, of course. You may have seen their gravestones along the way. Misshapen rocks without inscription or epitaph. Oh. Such was the fate of those who rejected Founder's ideals. Those who sought true justice over wealth and power. Well, if you have wealth and power, couldn't you still do that anyway? The names of these would-be reformers have been erased from our family history, as dictated by Founder's precepts. The same precepts that drove me from our house, as you well know. 
Well, that sucks. Oh, the pain and suffering, slaughter and sin. Founder Geniolja is the source of it all. Well, he's dead. When I was first cast out, I despaired. I wandered the realm aimlessly until I heard of something that gave me hope. Oh, yeah, I think I heard about that. The compass of space and time. Oh, or that. I thought you were going to talk about, like, the Sword of the Brave or something. With its power, I would go back in time, find our monstrous forefather, and slay him with my own hand. Oh, well, we can still do that. I will root out the evil at its source and change the course of history. I don't think killing him is necessarily going to accomplish that. There... Another one will just take his place. No longer will the realm suffer at the whim of the rich and greedy. The tragic cycle will be broken. Well, there's not that many rich and greedy people left. This is my goal and that of my comrades. I will shoulder their hopes and wishes and build a new world. And I will not give up the fight until it is done, even if I stand alone. As you wish. I hear your words, brother, and I feel your pain. But still, I must stop you. Yeah, I can't let you, uh, like, undo our entire existence. Huh. A blind slave to Founder's precepts, just like the others. No! Don't you see? It has nothing to do with Founder, its precepts, or our family. Not as far as we're concerned. I just want to save this world. For my friends. My friends who protected me, who encouraged me. Yeah, they might not even be born. Who helped me when I was in trouble, and showed me the way when I was lost. Friends who cared for me, and helped me grow. Well, did your friends do that for you? I'm going to save them, and this world, and all the hopes and dreams we share. So you too would slumber in an unmarked grave. We are more alike than I thought. Oh, good. And yet, only one of us can achieve our goal. It is time we settled the score. Wouldn't it just be easier to solve the problem now? Come you. Show me the strength of your convictions. For boss time! Against Denny Jenny Olja. Okay, so we are going to have to examine him again. I love that they still got the Kaiser Oblivion battle theme going here. But, uh, okay, so we got Meteor Rain. A little more on the meteors there. And with Idea, let's go with... Quadruple Death Spiral. So four hits per Death Spiral there. And then... Yeah, that'll be the last of the multi-hitting skills that we need. Okay, and then... Yeah, let's get Quadruple Holy Rain going there. With Tiz, let's go examine Denny. Mug for an item that he's got now. And then Godspeed Strike with the rest of our... BP there. Well, he hasn't gotten any stronger since the last time, or at least not in terms of HP, but... Oh, right! We got a couple Chaos Blades there. Yeah, look at that damage! And it's only gonna get better. You think I'll give up so easily? Why not? Whoa! Times you bring me down, I will rise again. I will not stop fighting until this world is reborn. Denny, listen to me. You didn't see what happened after you went back in time. Oh, yeah. we saw. We saw the end of the world. No, worse than that, we saw a world frozen in darkness and despair. <sighs> Shouldn't you what know that? Doing will solve nothing. Denying the past is no way to build the future. You say you want a better world. Then let's build one. 
together in the here and now. Yeah, it's gone. But uh, okay, we gotta deal a little more damage. I guess he is a bit stronger than he was before. <laughs> One more time. Ha <sighs> ha. You've grown strong, Neil. Oh, only one HP refill? That's it? Maybe we took the fight out of him, like, mentally or something. Well, in any case, we got him. Hooray! And this time for defeating him, we get... The Kaiser Asterisk, and it's pretty good. Got a lot of really good stat modifiers, some abilities that I like. And, uh, yeah, good uh, weapon proficiencies as well, particularly with Grit Swords. And I want, well, someone to work on it. Hey, how's it going? Brother, you're awake. We're in prison. This, this is my childhood home. I never thought I would see it again. But you just did at the beginning of the chapter. Or the new game. Original new game, that is. I was defeated. But you let me live. Well, yeah, it's not like you can cause any more trouble. We're all good. It is over. My long-held dream, the sacrifices of my comrades, all for naught. Yep, you're all gonna die. Listen to me, brother. It doesn't have to be over. This is just the beginning. No, no, no. We, we gotta wrap this up. You don't need to give up. It's never too late to change the world. Or yourself. Yeah, I mean, just get a new asterisk. Our family committed heinous crimes. Crimes that will never be erased from history. But together, we could start to make amends. How would you do that? You just gave up all your power. And if we do it right, we just might change the future. Stand with me, brother. Yeah, I mean, Dad kicked you out, but I'm in charge now. Perhaps you're right, you. I mean, it's not like you got much of a choice. But my hands are stained in too much blood to play any part in shaping the future. Well, what do you mean? In this timeline, you didn't kill anyone. Or capture Agnes. Well, I guess there were probably a few people during the New Game Plus intro. I murdered too many to count. I abducted the Pope. I allowed my dear friends to sacrifice themselves for my failed cause. Oh, you remember that, right? My heart may have changed, but my crimes cannot be forgiven. That too. But, Denny... It is never too late to start anew. Huh? Agnes, what are you doing? Your Holiness. What are you doing here? Denny Genialja. The crimes you have committed are grievous indeed. Oh, yeah. So we're going to hold him accountable to crimes he committed in another timeline. But I would offer you a way to atone for your actions. Death would be preferable. A chance to start over? Yes. You understand what you've done. That is the first step toward redemption. So are we just going to New Game Plus again and... Bravely second before any of this stuff happened? You would show me mercy? I stole you away, dragged you to the end of time and space. That didn't work out too well for you, did it? That is the past. What matters now is the future. Or that. But what of those who died protecting me, who championed my cause until the end? They all died. I have no right to go on living while they lie dead. But don't you think they'd want you to live? To work for change however you can? Well, they didn't exactly seem like pretty good people. The only mercy I need is the mercy of a quick death. Oh. That I might apologize to my comrades face to face. 
Do we even have an afterlife in the in this game? I guess we kind of do. <sighs> if that is what you truly wish, then come with me to the sanctum. Very well. You seem to want your death. Very well. Man, you look kind of weird without the whole Kaiser robe and everything going on there. But, uh, all right. So, let's see. What do we got going on? The moon base. The moon's still kicking, right? Okay, well, looks like we got everything going on there. And let's see. The Kaiser Oblivion uh, entry. Oh, or Denny. I guess we don't really get Kaiser Oblivion by name. But that's okay. But yeah, what was he even doing down there anyway? I don't know. He didn't really seem to be trying to accomplish anything. I mean, we took his asterisk, so... Yeah, a bit older, or quite a bit older than uh, you, huh? But I guess he met up with all those well, other asterisk bears, or at least the new ones anyway, except for, uh, was it Norzin there? But the others worked for him, I guess. But yeah, I mean, there's a whole lot more going on than just founder Jemmy Olja with all the corruption and everything. You ever try going to Vampire Castle? You could learn a lot there in the first game. Oh, yeah, I suppose so. Oh, okay. Well, just about everyone's disillusioned with them by now. I mean, except for... The guy's working for them. But, yeah. Yeah, I wonder how that worked out. I mean, he clearly didn't accomplish his goal. Hmm. Yeah, that didn't exactly uh, work out too well. I'm kind of surprised he doesn't, uh, remember what happened. Hmm. But, well, it happens. Well, at least we remember what happened afterwards. But, uh, okay, so we got all that. Oh, and we got the, what was it, the Chaos Blades. Let's see. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, I don't really care about inflicting status ailments with weapons. But it is a bit stronger, so... Hooray! And it's for the... The collection there as well. Oh, yeah, we already did that. Oh, what about him? No, okay, I guess not. Did you say something else there? Oh, okay. I thought you might have said something a little different with Denny, but, uh, nope, nope. But all right, what, the, what else is going on here? Yeah, apparently so. Well, we've got a lot of dark marks. Yeah, I guess all those gravestones that were, uh, like, erased or something... I guess that was like all the rubble or stuff that we found everywhere. But I guess we kept them inside. But, uh, yeah, let's see what's going on here. Finish off Kaiser Oblivion at last. What do we got going on? The Templar himself is to carry out my sentence? I consider it an honor. Oh, well, yeah, after the whole murder thing. I am ready. 
To meet those who sacrificed themselves for your cause. This is what you truly wish. Evidently. Then let it be done. Oh yeah, that's right. Cool. We uh spared them. Geist and Revenant. Yeah, we didn't really kill any of your uh, pals this time around. Minette. Jan. And Nikolai. You. You live. I mean, we took all their weapons and asterisks, but other than that. Kaiser Oblivion. No. You are Denny Genioja now. But Kaiser Oblivion sounds so much cooler than that. As you can see, your companions are well. And I have heard their tales. Yeah, we were kind of there. They shared with me the injustices they suffered, all at the hands of the Orthodoxy and the Crystal Guard. I do not deny the crimes of our past. But it is for that very reason that I must see that they are never repeated. So, are we gonna, like, abolish the orthodoxy in the Crystal Guard, or what? Denny Genioja, join me and help me build a world where your friends and those like them need never suffer again. Well, we already took care of the orthodoxy in the first game. I... I do not deserve... Okay, we can still execute you. Your holiness. I am free? Oh. I trust that my blade has cut through your doubts as surely as it did your chains. Something like that. Yeah, we'll go with that. The road to peace between the Orthodoxy and the Duchy was a long one. Bringing the Glance Empire into the fold will doubtless prove even more trying. Well, yeah, that's true. But we have taken the first step today. And if we struggle along the way... Oh, we'll be struggling. We can learn from our failings and muster the courage to try again. Yes, until the day comes when we achieve all that we've strived for. Our coup de gravy. <laughs> I look forward to that day, you. And even you're obsessed with the gravy. Also, that Alfred must be the best cook in all of Luxembourg. Mm-hmm. Hey, what about the rest of us? From meat to fish to veggies to fruit, it's a smorgasbord of savory delights. I would think they'd need, like, a whole staff of, uh, butlers or chefs. Check out this fried chicken. Crispy on the outside, juicy on the inside. It's cooked to pure perfection. Oh, yeah, I wish I could get that. Mmm. I'll say. Is there anything this guy can't make? Hope. He's like the Omega weapon of chefs. <laughs> uh, Idia, you've got sauce on your chin. And you've got chicken crumbs in your hair. Oh, well, I got the hood. I see you two haven't lost your appetites. Well, yeah, we're JRPG protagonists. Sharing a dinner table like this brings back so many memories. It does? It's been a while since you ate with us, hasn't it? Oh, yeah, being the Pope and all. Speaking of which, aren't you supposed to be at that other big feast? What other feast? Don't worry, I did the rounds. And Brave made sure I didn't miss any dignitaries. What? That sounds like father. Always a stickler for ceremony. Oh, I guess. What's going on? I simply must find the recipes if I can't make you's favorite dishes. He might what? choose Alfred over you, huh? What do you mean? What? Uh, no! <laughs> Blushing, I think. Come to think of it. Magnolia was asking for recipes last time, too. Oh. Is she studying for a second career as a culinarian? Something like that. 
For the last time, Tiz. That's our sweet little blockhead. <laughs> oh, even more food. C'est delicieux. Monsieur Alfred, what is this delectable dish? Isn't that a turkey? That, madam, is roast perch with radish. Yet another house genealogy speciality. Yeah, with all the money we stole from everyone else. Mm -hmm. Roast perch, you say? Your dedication is impressive, Magnolia. <gasps> your, your holiness. Well, I suppose we've uh, learned a lot about cooking along the way. Just call me Agnes. Ah, okay. You have helped to keep my friends safe, yes? Truly, you have my deepest gratitude. Oh, yeah, the food helps too. So tell me, what is it between you and, uh, you? <laughs> I like that they address that. What? Oh, no, it's nothing. I mean, I like him as a friend, of course, but... Yeah. They tell me you come from the moon. Oh, yeah, so she does. I was wondering, when your work here is done, will you be returning home? Well, there's not much of a home left, is there? <laughs> yes, I think so. I mean, I'm supposed to, eventually. Well, take him with you. It's where you lived your whole life, after all. You're probably dying to get back. Well, I mean, we've taken care of the Kaiser and everything, so all the problems are solved. Well, maybe not immediately. After all, my ship is still damaged, yes? Oh, yeah, I, gu I guess we did kind of just leave it there. Oh, well, you should talk to Lotus about that. I bet he could fix it up in a flash. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Good idea, you. I'll talk to him as soon as I can. Uh, good, good. Hopefully he won't fix it too quickly. Well, what do you mean by that? Uh, right. <laughs> so, are you going to join in on the festivities? No, I guess not. Dinner was every bit as delicious as I remembered, Alfred. Oh, Master Denny. To think this day would come while I still live. <laughs> what do you say we go for a bath, brother? So, do you got, like, any other butlers at your mansion or something? No, that sounds most refreshing. I shall draw a bath for you at once. It's all right, Alfred. We have it covered. Yeah, we got a flying bathtub. Wait till you see our ship, Denny. Well, he already has. We should give them some time alone. They have a lot of catching up to do. Thanks for not shooting us down. Yes, of course. Let's leave those two alone. Oh, yeah, that too. Aye, aye. Feels good, doesn't it? Wouldn't that, like, short out your arm? Yes, as if burdens that have long weighed on my heart are melting away. Oh, so all you needed was a hot tub and that's it? Well, I'm just glad we can be together again, like the old days. I've missed talking with you, you know? Well, yeah, he was trying to kill you. My path was a long and winding one, but I too am happy to return. I'm sorry, Denny. You know, about your arm. Nuts. You needn't apologize. The result was unfortunate, but your heart was true. In truth, I was always grateful for what you had done. What do you mean? What did he do? I regretted that we were forced apart before I had the chance to tell you that. Oh. Uh. It's been far too long, but we are together once more. That's all that matters. Well, if that works for you, it works for me. 
I feel the same. Thank you, Denny. That means a lot to me. And what of you? Is there nothing you've left unsaid? Oh, yeah, I suppose. Well, we waited this long. Hmm? To Magnolia. What about her? She spoke of going back to the moon. How did that make you feel? Huh? What do my feelings have to do with it? The moon is her home. If she wants to return, it, it's not my place to talk her out of it. Well, why not? You're rich! If she wants to return, I, for one, have my doubts. How do you even know that much about her anyway? Huh? Well, well, what makes you say that? Did, did you talk to her? Yeah. No, it's merely intuition. Yeah, I wouldn't worry about it. Your feelings, however, are as clear as day. Muster your courage, you. Leave words unsaid. Oh, yeah. And I may regret it forever. You're right, brother. All right, I'm going in. What do you mean, going in? Don't answer that, viewers. <laughs> Here's wishing you gravy, little brother. What does that even mean? Whoa! What's that? What's going on here? The holy pillar. It can't be. Wh who's doing that? You. What? Whoa, whoa, whoa! This is the men's pool. Ha <laughs> ha. But, uh, yeah, the world's kind of on fire, or the equivalent thereof. I'm afraid we've got more important things to worry about. What, did, uh, Revenant possess Anyas again? The Skyhold! It's headed for the Holy Pillar! But there's no one there. Impossible! Impossible! What is the meaning of this? I don't know. But we've got to get to the Skyhold, and fast! You got the keys to the Skyhold? Turn it off? How do you even pilot that thing? But, uh, well, I guess we still got a little more work to do, see what's going on. But, uh, okay, so we got that all taken care of. But, uh, let's see, yeah, why don't we go into... Gafaladio. I want to check something out. Oh, we got more party chalk here. Oh, I, I didn't know we had more. Or more to talk about, I guess. Well, yeah. Oh. Hmm. Oh, maybe. I mean, it is a graveyard. What do you mean? Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah, so he was. Oh, okay. Hmm. Well, you gotta get out of there somehow. Yeah, pretty much. But then we wouldn't have gotten the new equipment. Yeah, pretty much. Oh. <laughs> Maybe we should check it out. Oh, well, we don't have to, but I'm going to anyway. Okay, so let's see. Yeah, why don't we save here? And, uh, well, check out the sanctum. If I recall correctly, I think we have to go through the crypts, though, if you want to check it out. I don't think we can, like, start up here, or at least I don't remember. But maybe I'll take a look around. Let's see. Okay, we got something here. Is that it? 
Oh, that is it. Okay. I was thinking I'd have to go through the whole place all over again, but, uh, no, no. I'm surprised I found that so quickly. I, I had no idea. I was just looking at the map and I was like, hey, there's a little blue spot there. But, uh, yeah, there we go. I don't think we could have done that the first time around, though. Right? Maybe I should check my, uh, previous save file there, but... Well, that was easy. I was about to, like, turn down the encounter rate and go through the whole place again, but... No, I guess we don't need to do that anymore. Not that there's any reason to do so. Oh, yeah, just a whole gigantic holy pillar in the background there. Nothing wrong at all. But, uh, okay, so now we're going to be heading back to the sky hole. The enemies are the same as before. So I'm not really going to change too much of what I did there. I do want to have Idea work on the Kaiser asterisk there. I'm just thinking if I want to use that right now or... Because the thing is, is that, well, I mean, you got those Iron Men there. And, yeah, they're pretty hard to kill without a specific setup that I've got for her. So I think I'll just leave the setup alone and work on Kaiser later. So yeah, yeah, we'll just leave that. Let's uh, take the boat out. Or uh, is this going to be in the, the rowboat? Oh, okay, good, good. All right, so yeah. Uh, yeah, why don't we just fly over to... Yeah, our campus, that's about as close as we're going to get. What else do we got here? We're all, like, rested up and everything, right? Okay, good, good. So we got all that. Let's head on back into the Skyhold. I had hoped never to return to this place. Why? The Holy Pillar. But how? This doesn't make any sense. Who would want to... Get that thing going again anyway. How'd they do that so quickly, too? Well, what's going on? I'm safe here. I assure you all. You weren't like possessed behind our backs, were you? The Templar, Sir Jan, and Sir Nikolai are keeping close watch over me. Oh. Hmm. We should get to the throne room. Whoever's behind this, we'll find him there. Agreed. Then let's go. We have to stop the Skyhold from entering the Holy Pillar at all costs. Couldn't we just shoot it a few times again? Right, let's go. I I guess not. But all right, yeah, we can just take the same way in as we did before. Uh, there are some bestiary entries that I still do need to work on. And uh, let's see, most of them are easier to do on the first floor here so i will be doing that off screen eventually oh we get a little more about the empire yeah how did you uh establish this empire anyway oh evidently oh well that's not uh very much Hmm. Oh, so you left uh, one corrupt institution for another, and again, and another one. Yeah, I wonder why he was wearing the mask. I mean, other than, you know, for dramatic storytelling. Oh, okay, well, yeah, I guess that would explain it. Hmm. Oh. Hmm. Well, it wouldn't have worked out too well for him if we didn't stop a robberus. Hmm, maybe. What do you mean, what attack? Oh. Hmm.
Oh, well that's, uh... But no one lives there. Oh, okay. And that's a lot of, uh, engineering involved for that sort of thing. Oh, okay. So he got them all for everyone else, not the, uh, the other way around, I guess, I was thinking... Well, what did he do then? Oh, so I guess he, uh, yeah, went everywhere or something. Oh, okay. Wonder why he did that. Hmm. Well, someone had to make them. Hmm. I guess we'll never know. But who's responsible for creating the Holy Pillar again? And what did they plan to do with it? Find out next time on Let's Play Bravely Second End Lair. This is H.G. Bailey signing off. Have a good day.